Hello, board members. My name is Kevin Boland, and welcome to my Novato California Insurance Office. So today's topic is on directors and officers insurance. It's a critical component in your overall insurance package, and that's because if you are sued by an angry homeowner, a tenant, a guest, or a vendor, a DNO policy will defend you. Now we all know that it's rare to have an unhappy homeowner. <laughs> Just the opposite, right? Um, in addition to being an HOA insurance specialist, I also serve on my board. And trust me, I felt the pain of a homeowner knocking on my door at 11 o'clock on a work night, asking me to get dressed and go chase a cat in the alleyway. Mm, that never happened. You know, as board members, we have to make a lot of big and small decisions which impact our membership. The decision could be financial, such as raising reserves, increasing monthly dues, or, heaven forbid, voting for that one-time special assessment. The decision could be physical, such as replacing the roofs, the siding, the paint, the gutters, the landscaping, the fencing, or even changing the ladder lines. And despite our best efforts as dedicated volunteers and unpaid, at some time we might be sued by an unhappy person. But not to worry, because a great DNO policy will spring into action to defend you. And notice I use the adjective great. That's because not all DNO policies are alike. A few are great, some are good, and some have big gaps in their coverage. And at the end of my talk today, I will share with you three questions that you can ask to make sure that you have a great DNO policy. So let me share with you a real story that happened about two years ago, and I can demonstrate to you how a good DNO policy will defend you. One of my associations in Northern California had a new homeowner attend the meetings, and they were being very disruptive. They were shouting down the board members. They were interrupting them, and they even brought a dead rat to the meeting to make the point the board wasn't doing enough to get rid of the rats. So the board did what the board had to do. They fined this person, and they precluded them from attending any future board meetings. And guess what this homeowner did? Well, it's California, so she sued. And unfortunately, um, they had an attorney who claimed a whole litany of allegations, such as discrimination based on age, race, ethnicity, a hearing problem that she claimed she had because that's why she was shouting down the board members. The attorney also claimed that the board committed an omission. An omission is where the board didn't do something they were supposed to do. And the omission was, per the attorney, they didn't eradicate every rogue rat in the association. And we all know how hard that is to do. So the good news was my company, Farmers Insurance, successfully defended the board. And a year later, we proved that the board did everything pertaining to the CCNRs. They did everything within their authority. However, it still costs my company about $30,000 in litigation fees. And here's my point. Some DNO policies will not cover discrimination lawsuits. Um, so it's really important to make sure you have that coverage in your policy. Okay, another good example right now where uh, a great DNO policy is defending board members in South Florida, where we had the, the terrible 12-story condominium complex, Champlain, collapse, you better believe everybody is pointing fingers now at the board members, claiming that their, it was their fault that the structural integrity of the towers wasn't sufficient. But from what I've read, they have a great DNO policy, which means the personal assets of the board members are being protected. Okay, so that's it. I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I do want to leave you with three of the most important questions to ask your insurance broker so you know you have a great DNO policy to protect the association and your personal assets. Question number one Does our DNO policy cover breach of contract lawsuits? A breach of contract lawsuit could occur where, for example, if you hire a painter to paint your buildings and they do such shoddy work, you have to fire them. Well, they can turn around and they can sue you for breach of contract. So you want to make sure you have that coverage in your policy, in your DNO. Question number two. Does our DNO policy cover first and third party discrimination lawsuits? I've come across a lot of DNO policies that either entirely exclude discrimination, and very rarely do I find a policy that will actually include third party discrimination coverage. My company does farmer's insurance, but I find a lot that don't. A first party discrimination lawsuit occurs when a board member, like I described earlier, sues the association, their first party because they're part of the insurance. A third party discrimination lawsuit is when somebody else sues the association or the board members 
such as a guest, a tenant, or a vendor, or even sadly your association manager, which we have a case uh, this year. So you want to make sure you have first and third party discrimination coverage in your DNO policy. And the last question is, make sure your umbrella policy, or I'll, I'll put it to you in a question format, does our umbrella policy cover an excess on top of our DNO exposure? Believe it or not, some umbrella policies will not cover it. I was putting together a bit earlier this year in San Francisco, and they had a very smart board member. He listed all the coverages in a spreadsheet so he could compare. In the 11th hour, he asked the independent broker, does your umbrella policy cover excess on top of the DNO exposure? And the answer was no, it didn't. So I picked up a new client because Farmers Insurance Umbrella does cover the DNO exposure. And this could be huge, by the way, because most DNO policies only have $1 million in attorney coverage in the DNO. And if your umbrella policy, which could be five or 50 million, doesn't cover the DNO exposure, then that money's gotta come out of reserves or the operating account. Okay, so that's it for today. I wanna to thank everybody for listening and I'm putting together my insurance topics for next year. I was really happy and pleased to work with Echo this year to offer you insurance topics you know, the leadership at ECHO has been fantastic, as I'm sure you're aware. They're putting together a lot of professional presentations for the benefit of us board members this year. So if you have a topic you want me to talk about, email me today. And if you would like a review of your association's insurance, shoot me an email today and let me know what month you renew, and I'll be happy to follow up with you. And I sincerely hope everyone today that my insurance topics and tips help you down the road.